Good morning, this is Jake. I wanted to create a quick video to show you how I made my previous video uh, with the screen sharing and everything. So uh, I think it was a pretty neat uh, way to share this iPad screen and show you the apps. I thought it was useful to show you how I did it. So uh, the first app you're going to need is one called Gene. This Gene app allows you to record what is on your screen. So in this case, I've got my entire screen. Uh, in the previous video, I was able to select only the iPad uh, for recording, um, but you can the, the trick with it is that it's only limited to five minutes. So uh, if your video is going to be longer than five minutes, then you've got to find a different way to do it. I think Snagit um, here listed here is another way you can do it. Camtasia is another way. Camtasia is a free for 30 days and $99 to buy, so it's expensive. Um, Screencast.com is another way to do it. I think. Uh, Snagit is a 10 minute video limit, so that's more uh, usable, but I didn't really explore any of the other options. Chris Bass also recommends um, Screencast O Matic, and you can Google that. Uh, the reason I stayed away from that because I was reading on their website before I downloaded it that it said it put watermarks in the video, and I didn't want a big water to cross. The and it's probably at the bottom, it's probably no big deal, but I just wanted to avoid it. So um, that is an option. Uh, the next piece of software you're going to need is extremely useful. Um, this is called Reflection and you basically can get either a free trial or buy it. Now the free trial is like pretty terrible. The free trial is only 10 minutes and it's once those 10 minutes are up the app will not open again until you buy it. So um, it's does a free trial but you can at least check it out and see if it works. Um, but the reason I pay this, it was $14.99 um, there is an AirPlay feature. This is what allows you to stream what's from your iPad, iPhone to your Mac. Um, there's an AirPlay feature built into iPad. If you click your home button twice, it'll pull up this new menu. If I scroll over to the right, then I've got a share feature. I can actually share the screen of my iPad to my Apple TV, to my iMac, my iPad, how, anything I want here. Now, um, that was really useful for making this video, but the reason I spent $14.99 on it is you can actually eliminate, um, there, there's the ability to, you have the ability to buy an Apple television, a box that's $99, and a $50 adapter to adapt it down to VGA to hook it into your projector. Um, so you can stream your iPad, your iPhone to your students and, and let them uh, interact with the apps and do, do things on your projector screen. But uh, that's a $150 solution. This was $14.99 and all you have to do is have this reflection software installed on your computer and you can wirelessly stream what's on your iPad to your computer screen. And then as long as your computer screen is hooked up to your projector, then you've got what's on there. I mean, it's, it's not full screen, and I haven't really played with it a lot to see if it's possible to do full screen, but I think that is an incredible um, workaround, $15, to do that. Uh, I haven't tested this on the school network. The Apple TVs currently do not work on the school network due to security restrictions that are in place but um, IT is actually changing those uh, as we speak to the Apple TV to do that so uh, if you want an Apple TV I think it's a great device um, but it is expensive $100 plus a $50 adapter and I found this awesome software for $15 that does the same thing I'm guessing it's going to have the same security restrictions until that is lifted on the uh, school's network, but um, it is out there. It is an option. It's not 100% crystal clear. Uh, it's not, uh, by all means, the exact same setup you would get with an Apple TV, but it's pretty close. So um, if you're not concerned about having ultra high resolution images on your projector screen or if, then I highly recommend this product. So that's how I was able to create that video. If you have any questions, talk to me. Thank you. Bye. So just a quick update on this um, program. I wanted to mention <clears throat> I did uh, try out 
the gene program and I wasn't able to get it to upload uh, the correct way to complete the module so um, it actually saves as a, a flash video and that flash video is not uh, you're not able to upload that to YouTube so uh, I did end up using screencast o matic which um, Chris Bass recommended and had no problems with it it was actually much easier than the gene software to use and um, another update on the network uh, restrictions for the program um, it does not work currently but uh, hopefully IT will be uh, fixing that soon and then we'll we'll get that rolling and you will be able to buy that software reflection software for $15 and use your iPad with it thank you